So this is the eyebrow that never listens to me. And this is the eyebrow that has like straight A's in school. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have a majority of my makeup on. The only thing that I'm really missing are my eyebrows, so you guessed it, this is an eyebrow tutorial. Um, you can see that when you don't have your eyebrows filled out, it looks a lot worse. This makeup needs some brows. It just does. It needs some brows. So if you'd like to see how I get my brows, then please stay tuned. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This thing is amazing. I love using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's very easy. It's very fast. Personally, it's just my favorite. I don't fill my eyebrows with anything else. The secret to good brows is taking one step at a time. I'm going to start with the beginning of my brow. And I'm just going to start filling in the bottom line right here. And I'm going to be taking very, very small strokes. And as I do my bottom line, I'm kind of flicking the brush up. And I'm starting to fill in this middle part of my brow. If you do one big stroke and you completely mess up, that's going to be a lot worse than having a little small stroke that you can just easily fix. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is taking my brush and flicking up. And basically this is just going to mimic those front hairs of the brow. That's why you want to do as many small strokes as possible. So now once you kind of have that front of your brow done, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is my arch. And I like to start from the bottom and kind of just work my way up. Once I have that bottom line done, I'm not going to go to the tail just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top of my arch now. Now once the arch is done, you can kind of tell that the whole front of my eyebrow is done. Now I'm going to be working on my tail. The tail is the most important part because you want it to kind of mold out your eye. So what I like to do when I'm filling in my brows is I will literally look in every single angle just so that I can get the best lighting. And now what I'm going to be doing is the top of my brow line, which is this one up here. So what I like to do just to make sure that I do have a straight line at the top of this brow is I will bend my head down so that I can see the shadow of the top of my brow. I'm kind of done with my brow. At the end of it, I just like to flick these hairs out at the end. So this brow, because it doesn't listen to me, I fill this brow in a lot differently than how I fill this brow in. The way that I start with this brow is with my arch. The reason that I do this is because I'm missing a lot of my hairs in this area. So I've personally found that when I start at the front, I will sometimes like make this part darker just because I don't know exactly where my arch is going. So it's just easier for me to start off with my arch. Now once I have those two lines done, which I kind of do, now I'm going to start filling in this part of my brow, not the front, just this arch and kind of the tail. Now I kind of have where my brow is kind of mapped out to be. I do have some empty spaces right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to now kind of follow the outline that I have and fill out the rest of my brow. My eyebrows are filled in now. They look pretty good. Next, I'm going to be using the spoolie side of my Anastasia Brow Wiz. 
and I'm very gently gonna start brushing out my brow just to blend in these colors a little bit more these colors also won't look as harsh anymore we're just gonna be blending everything together what you don't want to do is use a very heavy hand on this because you do have product on your brow now so if you like just take a really crazy sweep that product is gonna go into the rest of your face so you just want to use a very light hand when you're doing all of your brows With the ends of my brow, what I'm doing is I'm using the very tip of my spoolie to brush all of these hairs in place. When I'm all done, I like to clean up my eyebrows just to give it a little bit of a nicer shape. What I'm using is my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless in the color 210. And I'm using this on my MAC 185 brush. So what I'm going to be doing is picking up some product with my brush. And then on the back of the cap, I'm just going to kind of smear the product out because you don't want too much product. And then I'm just going to clean up my brows. Give it a very nice look. I'm going to be sweeping the Benefit Give Me Brow through my hairs. It makes them feel so much fuller. This is in my everyday brow. I have to use this stuff. It's amazing. Especially at the end, no matter how much I fill in my brows, for some reason there's always a little spot in the end of this brow that needs a little bit more filling. So I'll usually take this spoolie with product on it, and at the end I'll just make it go together. <laughs> Because that brow never listens to me. To keep my eyebrows in place, I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Gel. And this is in the clear color. And I'm running this one last time through my brows. My favorite part is to highlight underneath the brow to make the brow pop a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching my brow tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.